Now moving to the complications in Kawasaki disease. Most of the complications are, we are not talking about the atypical ones, we are talking about the typical cardiac complications. Most complications are always cardiac complication. Which is the most common cardiac complication? The most common cardiac complication is myocarditis. Yes, it is not cardiac aneurysm, it is myocarditis. Myocarditis is seen in as many as 50 to 70 percent patients of Kawasaki disease. Myocarditis can either be asymptomatic or it may present with CCF like features. Myocarditis tends to resolve either spontaneously or if the therapy of the underlying uh, disease is started. That is IVIG also tends to resolve myocarditis. And myocarditis, when does it develop? It can it develop even in the first week of illness. The second most common complication, also called the most dangerous complication, critical complication are aneurysms on coronary artery. We call them as coronary artery aneurysms. Aneurysms refer to dilatation of the vessels. So, coronary artery aneurysms are the second most common complication. Coronary artery aneurysms tend to develop in the subacute phase. So, they will not be present in the first 10 to 12 days of the disease. So, they tend to develop in the subacute phase. What is the risk of coronary artery aneurysm? Books say that in untreated Kawasaki disease, they tend to develop in 20 to 25 percent patients. This is what is mentioned in Nelson. But if you treat Kawasaki disease with IVIG, they are seen in less than 5 percent of the children. So, treating the disease reduces the risk of coronary artery aneurysms. Coronary artery aneurysms are considered to be the cause of death in Kawasaki disease. And the cause of death in aneurysm kya hai? It is obstruction or thrombosis. Rarely, rupture of the aneurysm can also lead to death. But it is thrombosis or obstruction producing myocardial infarction in a child which is the most common cause of death in Kawasaki disease. The other cardiac complications which are commonly seen, they include Kawasaki disease shock syndrome. Kawasaki disease short syndrome occurs due to left ventricular dysfunction. It includes mitral regurgitation and it includes increased risk of asymptomatic pericardial effusion. Asymptomatic pericardial effusion. But Frank cardiac tamponade is not seen. So, these are the complications of KT.